Hi guys, and welcome back to the World of Tanks test server with El Nature Gamer. Here we are today looking at the second of the two new tier 10 tanks from the Swedish line. This is the Kranwagen. Again, not 100% sure how to pronounce it. Um, initial impressions looking at this thing in the garage make me think it's somewhere between the heavy AMX tanks, the 5120, the 50B. Um, etc. Add a T57 heavy. Uh, this thing has a four shot auto loader. Under standard conf stock configuration, it's a, I believe, a 28 second full clip reload and 2.75. There we go, seconds between each shell. This is using 100% crew and vents. Uh, I don't have anything else to improve the reload speed, uh, any command skills or anything like that. But So what we're going to do, test out, we're going to park here, this thing has very good gun depression. Um, it's got reasonable penetration, quite good alpha, as you can see there. Nearly 400 damage there, and well, I got two shots in. Doing 747 damage, not great out of the clip. But this thing, it doesn't have a huge amount of pull armor in raw numbers, 110 millimeters thick, but it does have a pike nose like you get on the IS-3, T-10, IS-7, IS-4, etc. Which makes the hull quite bouncy. And the turret is very thick. I believe it's uh, 225 millimeters. Um, but again, it is well sloped back. So if you find yourself in this position, you can park backwards facing on a hill and use a very good gun depression to aim down like I have done here um, and shoot a statue apparently. As you can see there, I managed to bounce an IS-7 shell clean off the turret. No problems. But again, I've expended my magazine and I'm reloading. I've managed to get four out of eight shots to penetrate so far for a total of just under 2,000 damage, which isn't bad. Not since I, I'm not used to driving tier 10s personally. So now that went off his upper plate. Bounce a shot from the enemy there, the enemy cram bargain. Two, Put two shots into the IS-7. It went in again. Two out of four. We took one return fire, returning hit from the enemy cram bargain. But the armor on its all turret has blocked nearly 1300 damage so far. So can't really complain much about that. Now we are losing. Uh, it is the test server. I know a lot of people on the test server will be spamming gold rounds because hey, you don't have to pay for it. Why not spam it? Whereas I am trying to test these things out with just the standard ammunition. Unfortunately I missed an opportunity to kill the the Death Star there, which will slightly bite me in the ass in a few moments. But I managed to get one into the Type 5 Heavy. But we're sort of getting a bit overrun here, so I'm going to pull back and see if I can do something about that. Well, I blew the tracks off the pattern. He then gets taken out by the mouse. Who then gets... I have no idea where the mouse is, actually. But they then lose more tanks and our guys are just dropping left, right and centre. There goes another one. And now I'm stuck reloading. And this is this is the end of my game. Because now there's an enemy an enemy cram wagon there. There's one there. Death Star just put a massive hole in me. And there we go. He reloaded just before I did. But Considering I don't play tier 10s, and we're now down to our artillery only, considering I don't really play tier 10s, I only have tier 9s on the live server, even a noob like me managed 3,500 damage there. I didn't get any kills, but uh, I softened up quite a few. And there goes our artillery, so if we now go to take a look at the results. As I said, this is actually the first time I've played that's this tank. Um, bought it, outfitted it with a standard ammo loadout and vents. Let's see how I did. Uh, do 
second on damage in the team, third third overall um, um, against both teams. Only one tank on the enemy team did more than me, so I consider that a moral victory, even if it wasn't an actual one. So yeah, that's the new tier 10. Um, other equipment that I would recommend for this, um, probably yeah, enhanced gun laying drive, get your aim time down a little bit, help you snipe those weak spots. Well, not necessarily snipe, but hit the weak spots more quickly. Um, toolbox, vertical stabilizer, either or, I'm going to mount the toolbox. And uh, I even went in without bothering to equip repair kits and stuff, so yeah, that was a bit daft of me. So yeah, that's a quick look at the Kranwagen, the new tier 10 Swedish Heavy. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it gave you an idea how this thing plays, and if I manage to get some good games in it, I will try and do another video for you before the server goes down. Anyway, take care whatever you're playing, whatever you're playing, and I'll catch you next time.